3D printing has absolutely exploded, and I'm with Jenny from MakerBot. Jenny, let's start out quickly by telling everybody what is 3D printing and how you go from an idea to creating a 3D model. 3D printing is a technology that lets you take a virtual idea and make it physical. So it takes your virtual idea and it, and it creates it in plastic with our 3D printers. And I understand there's a lot of ways to do that, and you have quite a few printers behind you. So maybe let's start with one of them, and you can tell us the features of this printer, how it works. Sure. Uh, we came to CES to announce our 3D printing platform, and basically, we have something for everyone this time at CES. So we have uh, three printers that we've announced at, at CES, and we have uh, the MakerBot Replicator Mini Compact 3D printer, and that's for the consumer to use. That's a $13.75 price point. It's almost like a point-and-shoot camera. It's got one-touch 3D printing and a whole suite of tools so that if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to make a design yourself, you're able to, to 3D print and, and get off and running. And we have the MakerBot Replicator, and that's really for the professional to use on their desktop. We say that you can bring the factory to your desktop, and uh, that's, a, that's for a $28.99 price point. And then we have the replicators, uh, ma the MakerBot Replicator Z18. That that's for people who think big. That lets you make things that are 12 by 12 by 18. That's just a huge. Uh, and uh, that's for $64.99, and that's about a tenth the price of comparable printers. Absolutely, so what would you say sets MakerBot apart? I know there's a lot of companies out there doing this. What sets you guys apart? The thing that really sets MakerBot apart is that we're an innovation company that innovates so that other people can, can, can realize their creative their creative thoughts. So we've made sure that there are tools for everybody to do things. So there, there are three different ways that you can make things in 3D. You can go to a design tool and make them. One of the tools that we just came out with is a MakerBot print shop. And that's a really simple way for, for someone to create things. We let you create bracelets, we let you create signs. When that's a software, you can that, do that, that design. That's a software app that we just announced. And you can also go to Thingiverse. Thingiverse.com is, is a community site where there are over 200,000 designs that you can just download and print. And that's, that's another way that you can print things. The other, th the other part of our ecosystem that we offer is the MakerBot Digitizer Desktop 3D Scanner. And that's the opposite of how 3D printing works. 3D printing lets you take a virtual idea and make it physical. 3D scanning lets you take a physical object and turn it into a virtual object so that then you can either modify it, share it, or print it. And that is just about the coolest thing I've ever heard. And I can see this little guy over here, the MakerBot digitizer. <laughs> so really, you just put this here, you scan it, and that sends it to the computer, to the software, it makes it virtual, I could tweak it. Correct. Make my so, own, if I wanted my own household item, it's not quite right, I could tweak one. <laughs> absolutely, like one of the things that, that, uh, that the first thing that I scanned was, when I was an eight-year-old, I made a clay figure of a seal, and my mom would never let me have it because it was a keepsake that I made and she got to have, so I, I, I quietly took it from her house, brought it to MakerBot, scanned it, and I just had seals coming off my printer. So, you know, I could give a seal to my kids, I could give a seal to myself, um, I could make it any color I wanted. It was so awesome. So if your kid makes things in Play-Doh, and they, uh, you can make it and give it to everyone for Christmas. Keepsakes for everybody. <laughs> Keepsakes for everybody. You never have to, to worry about, uh, about your Play-Doh sculpture falling apart. But you also, um, you know, it gives you a starting point. So if, you, if you're not sure how to create and you know what you want to make, you can take something that already exists, you can scan it, and then you can start to modify it and change it. Like Brie likes to say, like, if you want to add a little more beard to that gnome, just add a little more beard. <laughs> I love it. So where can people get more information on all the MakerBot products, and are they available now? So if you go to MakerBot.com, you'll get all the, the information on all of our products, our full suite of software products, all of our luscious MakerBot PLA filaments. Um, the, the machine that's going on sale in February, you can, you can buy the MakerBot Replicator today, the MakerBot Replicator desktop 3D printer. You can buy that today, it will be shipping in February. Our other two new machines will be shipping in spring. You can still buy the Replicator 2 and the Replicator 2X and they are just awesome 3D printers. Thank you so much, Jenny, really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm gonna go check out this gnome a little bit closer. Okay. <laughs>